All right, hey guys, so today we have another full set Friday. It's actually Saturday, but just wanted to post this anyways. So um, it's gonna be obviously the 2021 Tim Hortons NHL trading cards, full master set. So I now have completed the set. If you do follow the channel, you'll know that I've opened a ton of Tim's cards. I really love the set. It's one of my favorites along with uh, Upper Deck Series 1. Um, so those are the two different sets that I collect every year. Well, Tim's Series 1 and Series 2. So I go all in on those and the rest of the products I just kind of buy one box of. Um, but anyways, here's the full master set. So we'll go through it here. Um, obviously, this is the binder that you can buy for $16.99. There is the full uh, collector series checklist here on the side. So that obviously outlines all the types of cards. One interesting mistake is that number 84, Rasmus Dahlin right here, is actually not Rasmus Dahlin, but it's Jeff Skinner. So someone confused a couple of Buffalo Sabres there. So anyways, here's the master set. First, we start off with the base cards. So there's 125 base cards, as you can see. And the binder is really great because it perfectly fits all of the cards. Um, actually, before we get into it too much, I will say there's a grape I have though. It's a little too thick for the, for the cards. Like that's just how it is resting. So as you can see, it doesn't actually close properly. So that's very annoying, I guess, but not really too big of a deal it's the only binder to get so um, anyways here's the 125 card base set it's the largest base set ever for the tim's cards started at 50 cards way back in the mcdonald's era and then went up to uh, 100 went up to 120 last year and then now we're at 125 so And one interesting thing to note about the base set as well is that for all the Canadian players, they do have their, often their jersey number coincides with the base card number. So for example, Tavares, uh, Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, 97. So, so that's a cool thing that Tim's does to kind of, um, I guess, show the respect to the Canadian players. Okay, so now we're at the end of the 125 card base set and we start off the red die cuts. So these were one in four this year. And there are 50 of them, so a huge set. Last year there was about 30. The harder to find one would be Tim Horton. Um, as far as I know, he was going for about 20 or 30 bucks. Um, he's not as hard to find as the 1920, where he goes for now 70 and up. But there's Tim Horton, the die cut number one, and then the rest of them. So these are parallel to the base set, but they are a different photo from the base. So it's not just the same card in red and die cut. It's actually a full new photo, so that is nice that they did that. And again, just uh, just kind of notable superstars are picked for this. Guys like uh, Sidney Crosby, some Canadian guys like Jordan Bennington, Henrik Lundqvist, Patrick Kane. So that's the end of the 50 cards there with Stamkos. And then we start the all-star standout. So this was one of the easy inserts to get this year. And there were... Uh, 15 of these, but these are one in five packs. So this is the one that I seem to get the most of. I got tons and tons of sets, maybe 10 different sets of these out of 15 cards. So they feature the players in their all-star uniforms. And yeah. Also one interesting thing to note is that um, if you've seen the, the rounded Young Guns corners, uh, I think they kind of started with this. If you can see the all-star standouts cards here, um, they are also rounded so they kind of come pre-cut with these like rounded corners if you can see there on the hellebuck so the bottom corners are are rounded at first i thought it was a defect but then they all were like that you can just see that so unfortunately it seems like that cut has continued to the young guns doesn't really matter for the all-star standouts they're a cheap little insert but it does matter when you're pulling big name young guns like lafreniere Anyways, we finish off the All-Star standouts with Mitch Marner, and then we move on to Cup winners. So this is another new insert for this year, and they're beautiful cards. As you can see there, they're very foily, like a rainbow foil kind of card, like a OPG Platinum rainbow foil. And uh, they just feature some of the recent Cup winners. So very nice card there. Again, these are one in six packs, and there's 15 of those. 
So we finished down below with Ovechkin and then we move on to the gold etchings. So these have been around, I believe, since the first year of Tim's. They're a perennial insert and another 15 of these. These are harder to pull, so they're one in eight. So these, these sets go for a little more for the gold etchings. But they do have a very nice design this year. Really like those. And then the next insert would be the canvas card. So these are the exact same as the canvas that you'd find from Upper Deck Series 1 and 2. Same kind of concept. However, I do think that the quality is better for these cards. They feel a little more substantial and premium. And they feature some nice photos, really nice designs. So I'm um, not complaining at all that uh, Tim's put this in the set. They look beautiful, beautiful cards. The canvas, I believe, were 1 in 9. So a little bit of a tougher pull to get the canvas and thus the canvas set sells for a little more as well and 15 of those cards ending with crosby and again just to show the texture you can see through the sleeve and then moving on we do have the clear cut phenoms sorry if the visibility is not great i sleeved up all the clear cut phenoms and trios but these were one in 12 again they've been around forever and all the tim sets pretty much and they're a tougher pull obviously with the one in 12 and there's 15 of these featuring kind of younger phenom superstar players. There's no rookies, but uh, there are some second year players like Kale McCarr. And you kind of keep seeing the same names over and over. Guys like McDavid, Marner, Line. But again, these cards are very beautiful. The acetate version. I really like the acetate looking cards like this. So glad they continue to put that in the set. And I did find that I pulled quite a few of the clear cut phenoms this year. Now the last insert set of course is the toughest and what makes this set really expensive and difficult to collect. So that would be of course the franchise trios. So if we get a better look here, it is just basically the three players on the card. Last year there was franchise duos with, du with two players on the card and traditionally the toughest insert has always been kind of like a 3D card like this every year. So they decided to include 20 of these cards and they are one in 24 packs. So. That means in a box of 100, you only get four. So theoretically, you have to buy five boxes to get all of these. And they do hold their value pretty well on eBay, selling for 20 to $30. Used to be higher first couple weeks, but we can have a better look here at the franchise trios. They decided to pick 20 different teams and just feature kind of the three best players on the team. So Oilers, Jets, Blues, Lightning, Canucks, Flames, Capitals, Avalanche, Sens, Leafs, Vegas, and then Wings, Rangers, Blackhawks, Flyers, Sabres, Habs, Stars, Nashville, and Pittsburgh. So that concludes the master set. Get a look at the back of the cards there. So yeah, that concludes the master set. I am a big collector. I do like my high-end cards and my big cards, but I also do enjoy collecting sets and building sets for certain different products. So I do plan to make this full set Friday, uh, kind of like a semi-regular series where we talk about different sets and show off different sets past and present. Maybe even some collectibles, stuff like older McDonald's trophies or McFarland's, all kinds of stuff like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of looking at the 2020-2021 Upper Deck Tim Hortons Master Set. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for a lot more hockey card content on the channel, including more Tim's breaks and more Series 1 breaks. I have a lot of different stuff filmed and stockpiled. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.